the Facebook thing. Might as well get it out of the way. Cause that's big. Omar, go for it. I know you got a lot to All say. All right, about so it. Facebook sucks, right? Wait, know. for the record, I don't we, even know. I was just like, I'm yeah, pretty sure. But, he but the funny part is that we've been mentioning about the whole data breach and the whole security thing. We've been talking about this for episodes. Bound to happen. Bound, right? oh, bound well, to happen. Yeah, we, we, we knew. I mean, we didn't know they were doing it to us. Or at we least at know, this level. We didn't know Facebook was bending us over and just sticking it raw without lube or anything. <laughs> we expect them to give us a reach around or some kind of like notification. They didn't, yeah, they didn't like, even let us know. They didn't even take us out to dinner. I know. Um, for real. Goddamn shame. You know, you know. But like a crying but, game all over again. Right. So so basically, basically, um, Facebook got caught with their, you know, hand in their pants that they have or been. Or they're taking our asses more. Pretty much. <laughs> they've been logging. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, they've been log- they basically have been logging our our calls and they've been logging our text messages, our text messages, uh, for, and our for, dick pics. So. And I know for Android, heavily like yeah, heavily on Android. This is, is why I hate Messenger. I always hated Messenger. And okay. and yeah, yeah. because they logged all that information, obviously, it's basically data mining, and they've been using that as part of one, their revenue, creating things. So basically, you know, not just creating things, but selling their ad, particularly the knowledge for the exactly. ad. Exactly. So which remember, is what gets it's a cheat sheet. It's yeah. a cookie cheat sheet for uh, what to sell me demos for ads. And, and I know that we've talked about this, and I know a lot of pe- other people have talked about this. You know, all those times where you're you make a, a joke of, wow, I was talking about getting a new bedroom set with my aunt, and all of a sudden, boom, I'm getting, getting a bedroom set with your aunt. I don't know. That's kind of weird, I just, bro. I just, Came over something random, and all of a sudden you start seeing advertisements about oh, getting bedroom sets and bed covers and sheets, and you're like, "How the hell did they know?" Yeah, well, no, now we all know how. Cookies yeah. just checking everything. Yeah, they were checking yeah. everything, and it's insane, and and it's actually causing financial damage. Yeah. So and, it, far, and the other thing we get to add is that it doesn't have to be somebody like you don't even have to be using some of the programs or some of the monitoring systems that they're using. You can be friends with somebody who has that, and they can still track you. Which is like some scary shit because I know if you sign that waiver, you're signing away your waiver. But that doesn't mean like that I want my friend to be, you know, it's playing with the same BS. Yeah. Exactly. That's foul. But it is foul. Not surprised. I'm honestly not surprised. I mean, think of think of how many people use Facebook and the data. I mean, even if you believe or don't believe with the movie, the social network, to a degree, I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, exactly. I mean, yeah, you have to also think about it. Everybody's always defending, oh, you know. Zuckerberg is a good guy. I'm like, look, not one person in the movie defended him, <laughs> and not one person in real life defended him. <laughs> At some point, your character speaks louder than what you are telling people to defend you for. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it, it got to the point where where now it's gotten to be uncool to be on Facebook, which I think has been going around forever. I, but this week I mean, specifically, the yeah. amount because in the end, remember, Facebook is now a public entity. And in the past week, I think I, it, it lost $100 billion in value. Good. Which means now people are starting, advertisers are starting to jump ship. And because it is a public thing, now basically Zuckerberg's job is on the line. Not just now he not, has not this is his job, Even but now. I think owns like 51%, right? Something like that? Yeah, he's a... He's a he's he should a, kind of get booted at this he's point. He's still the... Uh, he, he is the majority shareholder in his own company. But Congress has called him up to uh, speak uh, at a formal hearing, so that's yeah. going to be fun. That's going to be an interesting one. I mean, I don't. If you saw his uh, his his, uh, his his interview, he is legitimately. You could tell his fears in his eyes. Like he's like, "Holy shit!" He never. You could tell he never expected it. But at the same time, you are the person who's always talking about that like, you are on top of your shit. That this is your baby. This is. The, I mean, the whole premise of your whole career, even the movie, which is. You know, loosely based on what you did to create Facebook, has been that this is your baby. This has been your hands on. So now the only people you can really look to is like, hey Zuck, what the fuck happened here? What, what did you do, or what didn't you do to make to fix this or to keep this from happening? So that's that's gonna be interesting to see how he plays out in his defense of what he what he did or why he did it or. You know. Yeah, and mind you, this is just something that's happened and came out within the past, I think, four days. So yeah. we so, don't know exactly how this is going to end. So we're, it's yeah. literally right in the middle of it. And this is, this is going to affect um, the because the big thing is that Facebook was, was is, is considered by the younger generation. If you're on Facebook, you're old. But the thing that Facebook was kind of gaining traction on was the ads, where it was taking ads away from from YouTube. And YouTube has its own issues with its content creators that they need to police. Oh, you know what? The funny part, uh, you you mentioning that, it's kind of funny that we never mentioned that YouTube thing. Because oh YouTube, yeah, I never did bring it up. We yeah. never did bring I it up. It's too. crazy. We'll, YouTube has a bunch of videos. Go watch them. We'll, yeah, just we'll search. Just we'll, search YouTube we'll go, for yeah. Adpocalypse. I mean, that one. Yeah. Oh, which one? Recent one? 
You yeah. could start from the beginning and work your way up. Cause it's been yeah. crazy. But I mean, the thing is that now that was where Facebook was heading, where like they were gonna becoming the one stop shop where people can post their video. Cause honestly, what was happening before? Cause I work with a lot of clients who do like uh, social media marketing, and they would post a video on on Facebook, and they want to link it through through or post a video on YouTube, want to link it through Facebook. Facebook will recommend that if you wanted more traction, to just link it on their page. Yep, just upload so then, it uh, separately. Exactly. So then you'd have to manage two different pages instead of linking. And if you linked it, sometimes they don't always go to the top of your feed. Right. So that was Facebook's way of saying, hey, just put your video, put all your marketing, put all your advertising onto Facebook. Forget YouTube. And on top of that, oh, we also got to remember the other funny thing about it is that all the, the younger crowds were saying that Facebook is uncool. They're like, well, I'm going to Instagram. It's like, doesn't matter. It well, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to, to a certain extent, but Instagram, it seems to be what's taking over Snapchat. And yeah. Snapchat's losing Oh, Snapchat ad, is way up. Yeah, but Snapchat it's losing ad revenues, yeah. revenues yeah. to yeah, Instagram. Right now, Instagram so. is where all the advertising right. is going. Yep. See, th- see, and that's the thing that people tend to forget. People tend to forget that, listen, Instagram is owned by Facebook. Instagram is, is has the same data collection thing just like yeah. Facebook does. And so, WhatsApp. Yeah. And WhatsApp and, uh, as well. If you're, not, if you're using WhatsApp, same thing. Of, so, you know, if, you, if you're if you in that field, it's like, listen, you're just because you're dumping Facebook, you got to dump Instagram, too. Let's be real about it. I so, mean, I think for the saving grace for Instagram and WhatsApp, they should distance us as far as they can yes. from Facebook and be like, look, we might be owned by them, but they run their own shit. Yep. We run yep. our own shit. And they we do. are Actually, not it, the same yeah. Exactly. Thing. And that's the thing. Instagram does they run need, its own shit. They yeah. have its own They're separate still thing. small, what, like the... Last time I checked, they were probably like fourteen, maybe fourteen to twenty employees. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still very, still very small. So. And they should keep it that way. Yeah. Because then there's there's less, you know, um, avoid, possibility of people like avoid shit like with Facebook. Avoid yeah, shit like Facebook and right like now. more less people, less hands in the pot, less yeah. you know, more you can track this stuff. So that's what face Instagram needs to do. They need to distance themselves as far away. <laughs> they're like, I don't know possible. him. Possible. I don't know who they're talking about. Yeah. Facebook. What's that? Because they're like, gonna they take need a to hit. do that. And then if and if and if, and if I mean, even though that's pointing to that direction, if all they allowed all these ads from like the Russia um, election thing and now from this uh, Cambridge Analytica thing, they might be forced by the FCC or the SEC to say, you know what, you, you guys can't post ads or you guys, you, this, this isn't for you because you clearly can't protect your customers' data yeah. above anything else. And uh, it's funny, the thing that you mentioned the thing that we're the thing that we're pretty much talking about is our data as people, whether right? Content creators, consumers, whatever. We're still it's still our data, whether we're using it or not. These are still um, this is still more or less the wild wild west. Yeah, so definitely. these are unprecedented times. So the government don't know what the fuck to do to actually protect our data. Yeah, they it, just know that something needs to be done. Right, and yeah. the, and the other thing is that is that for the people who, let's say, content creators, content creators. Like we know what we're getting ourselves into when we are using Facebook and Instagram because we know our data is going to be shared. Our data is going to be saved and all that other stuff. We are aware of that situation. Yep. But for the lay human or for be. the average person, yeah, they should know. And for the average person who doesn't, it's like, listen, you guys need to become more aware. We're, we know that, yes, you know, my phone's going to be tracked as to, you know, where I'm going and stuff like that or what I'm talking about when it comes to what I want to buy and stuff like that. It does it. it we, I know this, you know, so f- for people to finally come on and be shocked or maybe for a lot of the grandmas who use their phones and stuff like that, they're like, what do you mean my stuff is being collected? But I mean, it's, it's also not just the fact that it's being collected. It's being collected. would be one thing to like, it's, it's you're creating your digital fingerprint. So they're collecting your digital fingerprint. In this right. Yeah, that's but it, that's not what's ultimately at stake for what happened with Facebook, because what happens is that they use that digital fingerprint against you to manipulate your decision making. And, and monetize and monetize, monetize you and your off data. your data <laughs> so like they basically manipulated you in a certain way to see like if you position this ad to him or or this topic to this person in this way they won't be receptive but if you do it this way they might actually read the article and go along with what you believe oh, yeah. that's the thing it's not so much just collecting data but they use it to manipulate you because they can read you like a book and, and they knew they know how to make because you see all these movies where like somehow the villain knows that the the hero is gonna make this left turn instead of right because he knows he's forcing them to do that. Right. In a sense, this is what they did. They 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 this, this data was collected so they can make you turn left instead of right because they know exactly what to say or what to show you right. in order to make you turn right exactly. instead of left. It's really putting a spotlight onto specific advertisers who want a specific type of client 
to know that they exist. And that's really what they've been doing it for. That's why if you're shopping for a kitchen set, bedroom set, toys, video games, you're going to see advertisements for that because guess what? Your phone's been collecting that data. So if you're okay with that, be aware of that. If you're not okay with that, also be aware of that as well. Don't be surprised like Facebook surprised a vast majority of people this past week. So, I mean, we're going to keep in touch with it. We're definitely going to see what happens because, damn, Zuckerberg is going up to uh, uh, Capitol Hill. So that's going to be a very interesting one. Stay tuned, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so sell your stocks down, people. 